click on the picture that you want to learn about. You have decided that you don't want to have this sentence in your story. Here's how to get rid of it, or save it to put it in a new place. Click the mouse in front of the sentence to put the cursor there. Hold the mouse button down and drag it across the words. This is called highlighting. Select cut from the fix it picture box or go down menu and you will see the sentence disappear. The unwanted sentence has left your story. It is sitting on the clipboard out of sight. Select paste to put it back in your story in a new location. Click on the picture that you want to learn about. You have decided that you would like to use this part of the sentence many places in your story. Here's how to copy it to put it in a new place. Click the mouse in front of the sentence to put the cursor there. Hold the mouse button down and drag it across the words. This is called highlighting. Select copy from the fix it picture box or go down menu. You have copied this part of your story. It is still in the same place. It is also on the clipboard out of sight, waiting for you to paste it in a new location. Click on the picture that you want to learn about. You have cut or copied something from your story. Now you want to paste it in a new location. Click the mouse in the location where you want to paste. This will put the cursor there to mark the spot. Use the fix it picture box or go down menu to select paste. You have pasted these words into your story. You can paste them as many times as you like, until you put something else on your clipboard. Click on the picture that you want to learn about. You have decided that you want to cut or copy your entire story. Here's how. Use the Fix It picture box or go down menu to select Pick All. Pick All makes your whole story highlight. Now, you can select either cut or copy. And it will affect every part of your story. Your story will then be on your clipboard. You can paste it again later. Click on the picture that you want to learn about. Welcome to the Mind of Tor. What would you like to learn about?
click on the picture that you want to learn about. Click on Open, using either the Notebook Picture Box, or go down menu. Here is a list of titles on your disk. Click the pointer on the store you want to open. Click on Cancel, to make no choice, and close the box. Click Drive, to access the disk in the other disk drive, if you have one. Cracker Story is now open. Now you are ready to work on it. It's easy to open the story with GitHub. Click on the picture that you want to learn about. You are ready to print your story. Use the notebook picture box, or go down menu to select print. You must get your printer ready. Press start print to start printing. Click on cancel if you decide not to print and want to return to your story. Click on the picture that you want to learn about. Use close, then you are finished working. I will ask you if you want to save your story. Select close in the picture box or go down menu. Now you can open a different story or get a new writing box. Click on the picture that you want to learn about. to start a new story. Use the notebook picture box or go down menu to select new. You have a new writing box. You can start writing your story. Then you save it, you can give it a name. Click on the picture that you want to learn about. You have finished writing your story for today. You want to save it and give it a title. Use the notebook picture box or go down menu to select save. Type in the title of your story. Click on Cancel, if you don't want to save. Click Drive, to access the disk in the other disk drive, if you have one. You have saved your story. You can see the new story title at the top. Now you can keep writing, or close this story.
play on the picture that you want to learn about. You have written and saved a story called Crackers. Now you are ready to add to this story. If you are not sure if you want to keep these new sentences, you would use save as to save this new version of the Crackers story. The new version will have a new title. Use the notebook picture box or go down menu to select save as. Right now, your story is called Crackers. Just type the new title over the old one. Click on Cancel, if you don't want to save. Click Drive, to access the disk in the other disk drive, if you have one. You have saved a new version of your story, with a new title. Use Save As, any time you want to change the title of your story. Click on the picture that you want to learn about. Click on the picture that you want to learn about. I'm going to tell you about your four choices. Letter by letter, word by word, sentence by sentence, and quiet. You are about to start writing a new story. If you wish, you can hear your letters, words, and sentences spoken as you type them. Here's how. Use the speak picture box or go down menu to select letter by letter. P A R R O T S. Now, let's try word by word. After you type the word, press the space bar and you will hear it spoken. You can also select sentence by sentence. After you type the sentence, put a punctuation mark, like a period, question mark, or exclamation mark. Then you will hear it spoken. Parrots are noisy. You can choose to have all three choices working at once, while you type. Click on letter by letter, word by word, and sentence by sentence. Listen. T H E Y V L O V E L. T O T T A L K. Talk. They love.
to talk. If you don't want GetTalk to speak while you are typing, use the speak menu to select client. Click on the picture that you want to learn about. the sound like dictionary, then you want to fix a word in your story that does not sound right. Click the mouse in the looks like box to enter the word. Then you press return. You will hear the word and see it appear in the sound like box. Parrot. See the cursor at the end of the word? Backspace and erase the sound like spelling. Type in a new sound like spelling that will teach me how to say the word correctly. To hear the new word spoken, press return or click in the speak box. Parrot. It sounds right. If it didn't, you could click on the sound like spelling and change it again. Click in the enter box. Then you are ready to add the word to your sound like dictionary. If you want to change or delete this word from your dictionary, click on the word on the looks like side of your notebook. This puts your word in the work boxes. Now you can change them. Click on enter, then you are finished. Click in the delete box if you want to take this word out of the sound like dictionary. Click on the scroll buttons to see all of your words. In the sound like dictionary, you are in charge. Make Kid Talk say your words the way you want them said. Fill it away. Are you sure you want to leave the Kit Talk program? Don't look by.